The upcoming Marvel vs. Capcom fighting collection, Arcade Classics, is almost here, and it's possibly the best way to play some of the most iconic 2D fighters to really ever exist. I have fond memories of playing Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and with rollback netcode multiplayer and a multitude of new ways to experience the game, this is a great way to get back into it. And it is wonderful on the Steam Deck, but there is one change I recommend making that will make the experience better without sacrificing anything. So, in this video, I'm going to go over that small change, which could leave a big impact if you play this game portably. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that like and subscribe button, and hit that notification bell to be notified as soon as our next video is uploaded. The game was also recorded on the deck directly, so you might have a slightly better experience if you're playing this on your own. Let me get this out of the way first. The Marvel vs. Capcom collection is amazing on the Steam Deck. The controls work great, the visuals are sharp, and by all means, it's just a great experience to play on the go. But there is one thing that isn't the best, battery life. These are extremely old games, and while they are bundled in a new collection, there's no reason for them to drain as much as they do. Without any changes, we could be seeing an 11 watt to 13 watt battery drain, which might not seem like much, but I would say it's way too much for a game that was released over 15 to 20 years ago. Luckily, there's a way to fix that. By setting the TDP limit to 5 and GPU clock speed frequency to 800, we can drop that drain all the way down to 8.5 watts to 9 watts, saving about 1.5 to 2 hours of battery life. It's a small change, but it makes a huge difference, especially if you're playing on an LCD Steam Deck or you want to conserve as much battery as possible knowing you may not be around a charger for quite some time. These changes have no effect on how good the game looks, and it does keep a stable 60 frames per second, so in the end, there's really no compromises. I've seen this happen often with games like this. The Castlevania Dominus Collection, for example, had a similar issue, and with a TDP limit of 4 and GPU clock speed frequency of 800, we brought down the battery life enough to increase it by up to 3 hours and keep a stable 60 without sacrificing anything. I can't say with 100% certainty why this happens, but this is a really easy fix in the end with great improvements to battery life, which is going to be great for those portable players. Otherwise, the collection is incredible. I love the new features that were added in and repackaging some of the best fighting games in existence with both their English and Japanese versions, new filters, and the inclusion of the Punisher is wonderful. With all the new features added, rollback netcode multiplayer, and interesting modes, this is a necessary fighting collection for you to take wherever you go. Thank you guys for watching this short video. If you enjoyed what you saw, hit that like and subscribe button. And a big thank you to all our Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome and we appreciate you. See you next time.